All right, we have another week of Helgius missions to get through. So this week we are looking to finish with a fairy hero, and we want to be topped off. I think we need to be above 40% HP, the usual 8 turn kill, and then 10 attacks with attribute advantage. So I went with, uh, we kind of have a half and half between giant and fairy. So we have basically a double heal coming from both of the giants. And then the fairies will help make sure that we at least have a fairy card towards the end of the run. And Helbrimer looks pretty nice. He does boost both his and King's stats. So Matrona was also be okay since she does boost giant stats. But I feel like her kit's kind of useless here, maybe this week. Uh, I did try a run with her. I'm not really feeling her too much. Let's see. So... First turn, I usually like to try to push King Old, so that is what we're in the middle of doing here. Uh, I do have a nice merge that I will enact in a bit. We'll get rid of this, and then main body is green. So we got some cards to burn on him. Uh, hopefully that counts for attribute advantage attacks. I know he's invincible. I'm not 100% sure if it will count. But we have nothing to target the blue sword, so we're not going to worry about hitting that. We're going to be hitting that with our AoEs. And then we didn't get an extra normal Scotty attack to reduce her stats. So that would have been nice for the King Cleanse here. Would have been more debuffs to remove, but that's fine. We did at least have the starting one. So we're going to go ahead and get a Fat Cleanse. And I guess we can hit... Should I hit him? Yeah, I guess why not. Let's see if it ends up counting. I do have some nice merges here. I think we can go for... Uh, I think we'll go for Deanne, because then I'll get a heal. I don't want to merge King quite yet, because I will use that merger to get his ult again. Ooh, that was actually very close to death on that right-hand sword. Don't want the swords to die, because I am going to ult twice. So hopefully uh, he can tank it. He might not be able to tank another king attack, so I don't think... I'll have to have a turn with the shield down. And then I don't have a Deanton. He is using his Infect, but uh, I don't know who that's going to hit. But since we got that merge, we can do this again. Take a little bit of damage. We got our heals. We'll be able to get Scotty heal next. All stats are down. Okay, he went for Scotty. He did crit, which kind of sucks. And then, ooh, she's taking damage. Relax, relax, relax. Okay. Uh, wow, triple infect right there. So uh, we don't have gauge removal. I think Helbrum did on one of his attacks, I believe, right? I think it's this bad boy. Yeah. Didn't get it. That's fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and ult. Now, Scotty is infected, which is a bummer. There's a good chance that the ult doesn't kill both swords in some cases, so I think what we'll do is double AoE ults, and then we'll push for Scotty. Both swords should be dead, so I can move and use her buff removal on the main body. Um, actually, he is removing buffs as well, so we did actually miss out on her buff removing, but that's not a big deal. If we had stance removal, that'd be great here. But, oh yeah, we did get, we cleansed off the infect. So we actually did get a decent heal. Uh, we can heal again with her. And we'll actually be probably full HP, because I don't think he's... He's triple infecting, but he's not getting through. Uh, King ulted. King's ulted shield, I should say. Um, we're already in turn 6, and we just need to hit the cap probably twice. So I think that's it. Scotty's going to have her ults here. We'll, get a, we'll top her off. And then we'll just full send these king cards. And that'll be... I think that's it. Ah, we actually landed right on the 10 times attribute advantage. So that was... Uh, that worked out perfectly. I didn't really think about it there at the end. That was actually a pretty easy run to six turns there. Uh, we'll see if this is everything. I do believe it is. Yes, it is. So it was a pretty simple 12k, I would say. So if you guys like to drop a thumbie, maybe sub if you're into that. And I'll see you in the next one.